No, it does. It's been um, about 200 hours on the, on the boat and um, taking a little winch out of the boat. Maxwell winch, uh, six I think it is. It's going to give it a good clean up and a rear grease. Um, well overdue for it, so it's going to use um, some brake clean. Put that under there so we don't lose too much. Pack it with new grease. Um, it says on here uh, lithium base, so got some of that, which is my wheel, my marine bearing grease. Um, being in the salt environment, I found this is the easiest way to give it a bit of love. Um, take it out. I'll clean all this up, and then I'll get on to the next part. All right, guys, I just want to give it a real good clean, so um. Taking these two uh, um, cap, cap screws out, Allen key, and um, that's basically what you're looking at. So I can get in there and give it a good, good clean. And I'm just going to leave that like that, so I know where everything goes. But that's how it goes. So that goes there, and then that will sit on there like that. So that doesn't matter where that goes. So I'm going to give all that a good clean up and uh, regrease, put some shit on these threads so that doesn't bind up. All right. So I'm just going to coat everything with um, a bit of Lamox Because it won't be seen for another couple of years Or well, maybe a year, I don't know Wait, that's it Get all the excess off It helps clean things with a bit of shit in it and Put a bit of grease Get some panorite grease in. Bearing grease. Let's put some around there. Put it on there. And then, uh, where's that little plastic in the door? And that can go on there, so it just slides. You want some on there? Put a bit extra. And there you go. Too much going hurt. Alright, that's better. And then uh, we'll put some uh, teff gel on the threads. So we'll just put some, some of this teff gel on the threads. Wind up. It's like a Teflon post. It's pretty really heavy duty shit. Alright. I'm gonna go and that's really well. I'll spray all this guy down with some iron. Oh. Get him the excess off. Grace on this color. Right. Just so they don't cry together. Alright. Yeah, that's just the color. I'm gonna drop the screws in. I need a little bit of it. Alright, we'll do those back up. Still pretty good and toad. Um, I'm gonna spray the whole thing down with a bit of iron. Um, Wipe the excess off. Um, 
that's a bit slippery, but it's definitely opening for a long time, don't you? Look after shit like this. Alrighty, now, sounds a looper crate clutch and shaft with lithium ground grease. Alright, make sure all that's good. You know. And let's pack this guy. Plenty in there. It's pretty dry before, so. Get some razors there, I don't care. Alright. Then we're going to this guy, conical washer, let's grab some uh, excess. Put that on there. So there's only one way for that to go, it won't go that way, so you want to sit it like that. So she goes. Move the towel, wipe the hands. I'm going to spray this guy down with a little lemon. Paper towel. Nice and clean. Right. And, uh, this grease does melt, so we'll put a bit in here. Too much more the merrier. And uh, we'll just put some on the outside here. Some in there already, but don't know how long it'll move before I use the uh, boat, so don't want the chrome rusting up. Yeah, that'll do. Cut all the surfaces. And then uh, just put some on the side of the boat. That'll do. Now uh, this is capstan, we'll put a bit. No, not a capstan, a cap screw, put a bit on the head. Done it. I'll see anything like that. We get the excess off. Oh, well, protect it all. And then we want to be on the base here, so. Sweet. Let's massage you. Out of it then. Alright, put that aside. Alright, guys, giving the housing all clean up, tighten all the bolts up, make sure everything's uh, nipped up. So, just gonna spray this housing down with a landline where I don't get too often, where the water might sit. And uh, we'll give that excess of life off. This side as well. So clean all that up. I'm trying 
start a little bit up in there in the spring. Alright, and then I'm ready to mount the, uh, the head back on. I might just put a bit of grease on this. Let that slide on. Alright, and I'll grease the shaft up as well. Put a bit in there, and then work that around. Alrighty. And uh, I'll just put a bit on this uh, rubber seal. Alrighty. I think that's going to be pretty heavy. Alright. All we got to do is uh, grab that, pull this guy aside. And locate that. So we can take that out. And there we go. That's just got to locate. So that's in there. That's the nose of the baby's butt. And then all you do is put this cap screw in there. And that's uh, pretty well ready to go. We'll just give it a wipe now, all the excess shit's everywhere. But it doesn't hurt. Alright. Cool. Alright, what I do extra, you don't have to do, but I just make sure I've got a good seal on my uh, on my winch, is I put a bit of lanolin grease in, the, in this bit here. And when that gets hot, that melts, it's almost like a wax seal, like a grease seal. Um, just I'll do this where I want to take it off eventually and um, get access to it but I also don't want water getting in underneath it and getting everywhere so like I say it's optional but if you want your shit to last it's a good idea and I need another tub of this shit So, I've gone pretty liberal here, but now that I've done this, I don't plan on taking it out for a few years. But I'll uh, get some more, and I'll keep showing you what I do. Alright. Well, that's where I'm at, so I've got the lemon grease all covered everywhere, where I can get to. And uh, we've got, it's got a felt gasket, so I'll just make sure that I've got everywhere, and then uh, we'll get this gasket. Simply, that's the right way. Well, it's like a neoprene gasket. Yeah. So we'll put this on. And uh, this will be old, so it's been crushed down. If you keep doing this, you'll probably need a new one. If you can get them. But um, this will probably be the first and last time I, I do this, hopefully. So just push it down so it sandwiches any excess. You just want to... Um, Put it on the um, opposing side. Just so when it, it, I've done it all over the boat, it just acts like a temporary gasket. It protects your ship. It's a bit messy, but it works wonders. Alright, so this new grease is a bit of a different colour, but it's the same shape, just full grease. Could use normal grease, but just fine, this doesn't react with anything, so and it fucking lasts forever. The boat builder used it uh, on some of the fittings, so but like anything, it's not permanent, but it's better than nothing. Eventually, uh, boat after many years gets a bit of a flogging, and uh, things start to leak, so if you can help prevent that, you're doing better than the next boat. Right. So that's that. Put a bit on the on the threads, just to make it a bit easier to get the feet fixing going off.
stuff and uh I usually spray the anchor well down with lemon anyway so it's in pretty good nick. That's about all I do with that. Oh, cheers.